Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the 10 pound Primark makeup challenge, which I am super duper excited about. I haven't really tried much of Primark's makeup, to be honest. I think I've only ever tried like one or two lipsticks and I quite like those. So I thought that it would be interesting for me to try out different makeup products and do like a full face of makeup, but, um, do the challenge where I'm only allowed to spend £10 because I didn't really want to spend much more than that if I'm being honest. So I went to Primark, I've got all my goodies here and I've got my receipt. I spent £9.90 altogether and I will say it was a lot more difficult than I had expected it to be because the Primark where I live, which is Inverness Primark, is so bad. Like the makeup section especially, there was literally nothing to choose from. Um, for example, like the eyeshadow that I got was literally the only option, there was no other choice. Um, so it was really difficult for me and also, the makeup's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Like, I thought I'd get quite a lot for £10 and I literally got five products. I don't know if I'm just being stingy, probably I am, but anyways, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've just shoved my hair up there so it's out of my face and I don't get any makeup on it. So the first product that I'm going to be using is the PS My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick and this says buildable coverage, blendable natural finish, moisturising vitamin E and this is in the shade Porcelain. So I decided to go for the foundation stick because the liquid foundations all looked so dark and I have the palest skin ever and even the lightest one in the liquid foundation was way too dark. Like it just did not match my skin tone whatsoever. So hopefully this one will be better. I've never used a foundation stick so I'm not really even sure how to do this. I don't know what to do. Should I just put like how much should I put on? Oh it's very creamy. I don't really know. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on everywhere, I guess. It's very like moist, even though I hate that word. Oh my God, why did I look this scary? <laughs> so in terms of the challenge, I don't really know what the rules are regarding like makeup brushes. Are you supposed to do it without them? Because like obviously you can't buy makeup and then the makeup brushes for £10. So I know it's the £10 makeup challenge, but I'm just taking that as spending £10 on the makeup and then I'm just gonna literally use my brushes. Um, so I'm taking my beauty blender, which isn't actually a real one. It's from Primark and it was like £1.50, but it does an amazing job. So let's hope that it blends this out very nicely. Okay, it actually is easier to blend than I thought it would be. I don't really know if I've put enough foundation on. Is that blending or am I seeing things? Ooh, I don't really like this. <laughs> it looks really cakey. Oh my gosh, I look ill. It's like I'm doing a Halloween makeup tutorial or something. When I look in the mirror, it looks all right, but in this camera, it honestly just looks scary. I think I need to put more on my nose because it's like really red. And just more on my spots, I guess. I've popped even more on because I'm just not happy with the coverage. But I will say like after I've put like three layers on, it seems to be giving me coverage. So it is buildable. Um, like it says, I just don't like the way it sits on my face because it just looks so bad up close. I don't know if you guys can see what I mean, but my skin just looks so dry. But maybe it's just because I do have like dry skin around my nose anyways. It's just like this foundation isn't good for dry skin maybe. To be fair, it has actually blended all right. Um, I feel like I might have been a bit harsh in the beginning because it has blended in and it actually does match my skin tone so probably like I just need to add a bit of contour and blusher and it won't look as pale so probably it actually is the right colour for my skin. So the next product that I bought is this PS Nudes Contour Palette. Um, this was £4 and I thought that even though that was pretty much most of my budget it actually has quite a lot in it because I thought I could use this for blusher, for contour and for highlight. So basically killing three birds with one stone. That's not a saying. Killing two birds with one stone. 
I'm actually super excited to try this because it looks really pretty. So I think I'm gonna go in with blusher because I look really pale and ill so I need some color in my life. I'm gonna go with pure just because I still want it to be quite natural so I'll go with the lighter one there. That's actually really nice. I like that. Ooh, it's so shimmery. That is super pretty. Like, I really like that. It's such a nice natural shade as well. And I definitely would use that blusher, like, for my everyday makeup. It's probably one of the nicest blushers I've ever tried. I really like it. And already I'm looking a bit more alive. Now I'm gonna attempt to contour, but we all know that I cannot contour. So this is probably just gonna ruin everything. But I'm gonna go in with Reveal, which looks rather dark. So we may need to do a little bit of blending. <gasps> oh my actual goodness. Is it actually meant to be like that or am I just really bad at makeup and I've just drawn a massive brown line down my face? <laughs> and now my tummy's telling me it's hungry. Okay, number one rule is do not panic. <laughs> oh God. I'm now gonna attempt to contour up here. <laughs> I just look like I'm about to play a game of like, what's that when they paint their face? Football, rugby, I don't know. So obviously I can't go anywhere looking like this, so I need to try and blend. Hopefully this is blendable, come on. Why is it not blending? What on earth is going on? <laughs> I love how I said don't panic and I'm literally panicking so much. It's not even like I'm gonna leave the house today, but oh well. I wanna cry. This is why I hate makeup, because I can't do it. <laughs> Can anyone else relate when they just do their makeup? They just want to cry because they're like, why can I not do makeup? And why is everyone in the tutorials like, this is how you do it, it's so easy. And you're like, no, it's not. It definitely looks way better than it did before, but it's still not that great. But we're just gonna have to move on and just live with it. So the last thing I'm gonna be taking from this palette is this shade Polar. I like the name and that's hopefully gonna act as a highlighter. I don't really know if it is. That's quite nice. Put a bit on the end of my nose. Where else do you put highlighter? <laughs> Shows how much I know about makeup. Maybe somewhere here. I see a lot of people doing that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Am I shimmering? Am I glowing? Now moving on to eyeshadow. Literally the only option I had was this one is this single eyeshadow I think this cost me £1.50 and it's not a very exciting colour it's literally just brown and it's also falling out of the packaging so I've got to be careful but it was literally this or an £8 eyeshadow palette and the £8 eyeshadow palette would have been practically all of the money that I was able to spend and it was just like really bright sparkly colours so I thought well, I kind of had to just go with this one, but it could be quite nice. I do like quite a natural makeup look, so this probably will be fine. I feel like I have a hair on my chin and it's really annoying. You know what? The more I look at this makeup, I actually kind of like it. That's actually a really super pretty colour. It's not really showing very well on camera, but when I'm looking in the mirror, it looks really nice and just like sparkly kind of silvery gold colour, it's really quite nice. The only thing is it's not very pigmented, you literally have to scrape a whole load of it onto your brush and put a couple of layers on it before you actually start to see it, but it's really pretty. Next up we have mascara, so this is the PS Volumizing Mascara Instant Volume in black and this was only one pound. It's just such basic packaging that it looks really cool just because I like matte black. It's so hard to do your makeup on camera because I literally do my makeup like this. That's not very attractive for you guys to watch. I'm making myself laugh because I literally do my makeup with the weirdest expressions. I have my mouth like hanging open and everything. I absolutely love that mascara. It's so nice. It's really easy to use as well. Like it just goes on really smoothly because 
I hate putting on mascara. I feel like I always poke myself in the eye or it just goes like really clumpy. That was really nice to put on. It didn't go into clumps. My eyelashes didn't stick together. It was a nice applicator. It looks really quite natural. It's not like so false. Um, so definitely I'll be using that again. I can't believe it was only a pound and it's that good. And last but not least, it's time to do my lips. So I got this lipstick. I thought I would take one that I haven't tried before. This is the PS luster or luster i'm not really sure how you say that i don't think it has a shade number or anything but it looked like quite a natural kind of uh beige sort of color and that's the sort of lipstick that i like to wear my lips are so chapped and dry so this probably would look better on someone else <laughs> That wasn't the shade I was expecting it to be, but I literally love it so much. Like, I've been looking for this colour of lipstick for so long. It's quite a nice, like, purpley one. I really like it. It's going to be so nice for this time of year, like autumn. And it just goes on so well. It feels really nice and creamy as well. It feels nice on my lips. Like, it's not going to dry them out, which is definitely not what I need because my lips are already dry. It's like a nice moisturising lipstick as well and it's such a lovely colour. I love their lipsticks and will forever rave about them. So there we have it guys, this is the final look and I'm actually so happy with it. I was really impressed with pretty much all of the makeup products. I'd probably say my least favourite one was the foundation but that's just because I'm so fussy and picky when it comes to foundation as it is. I said loads of times that I don't like the way that foundation feels and looks on my skin um, so this foundation is actually good it's just that I'm really quite fussy and picky um, but my favourite thing is definitely the lipstick. I love it. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the products that I used. I feel like it's a very natural kind of glowy makeup look. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed already. We are almost at 20,000 subscribers, so let's get us there soon. And let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see me film. Are there any challenges you want me to do? Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye!